to the class of 2020. Brought into a world post 9-11, beginning elementary school at the start of a recession, and now losing our senior year to a global pandemic, we really can't catch a break. I remember in first grade when my teacher told me I'd walk across the stage to grab my high school diploma in the year 2020. And now, senior year, unable to walk across that stage, we have adults telling us not to worry because of how far we'll go. But what about how far we've come? Freshman year, we were scared, looking at all the kids who were so much bigger than us. We began our four years of drinking milk and eating hamburgers at 11 a.m. We made it through being made fun of constantly by the sophomores. Sophomore year, as we had just begun to establish ourselves as real high schoolers, we got ready for junior year. Oh, junior year. That was a rough one. Then came our beloved senior year. As we grinded away on college apps, we engulfed ourselves in school spirit. We went to football games every Friday night. We went to assemblies, pep rallies, and our last homecoming. What a night. Even though it was cut short, get this. We're the only class that can tell our kids our senior year of high school was cut short by a global pandemic. I can promise you that no other class will have that story to tell. And at the end of the day, it is those stories, those experiences that make life great. Because this isn't the only hardship we'll be facing in our lives. You find strength through those hardships, and that's what makes life beautiful. That's what gives us our courage and individuality. And for one final message, I think subpar American office worker and Cornell alumni Andy Bernard said it best. I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Take that to heart, because lockdown or not, we're still in the good old days.